This video talks about ethanol metabolism. If you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do so by going to page 100 first day 2012. Okay, so ethanol is first broken down to acetaldehyde. And the enzyme that breaks down ethanol to acetaldehyde is called alcohol dehydrogenase. Okay? This is not the only thing that we need to break down ethanol to acetaldehyde. This also uses a molecule of NAD and it converts to NADH. Okay? Then from acetaldehyde, we are making acetate. So acetaldehyde is further broken down to acetate. And the enzyme here is going to be acetaldehyde dehydrogenase because we're dehydrogenating our acetaldehyde to make acetate. Here also, we're using one molecule of NAD plus two NADH. Okay? So we are kind of reducing the NAD pluses to NADH. This NAD is quite important here because the NAD here is the limiting reagent. Okay? It's a limiting reagent. That means this is the first one which runs out. And if it runs out, we cannot really break down our ethanol. Okay? We need to have a constant supply of NAD to break our ethanol to acetate. And acetate can become ketone bodies and finally they're excreted from our body. We'll talk more about the NAD a little bit later. But let's talk about a little bit about our different enzymes, the alcohol dehydrogenase and the acetyl dehydrogenase. The substance that gives us the bad feeling or the feeling of hangover uh, from alcohol consumption is really acetaldehyde. Overproduction of acetaldehyde is going to give us all the symptoms of hangover. Now, there are drugs which can stop making acetaldehyde. And that drug that inhibits, so what will inhibit the synthesis of acetaldehyde? If we stop alcohol dehydrogenase, okay, then acetaldehyde is not going to be made. And the drug that inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase is going to be fomipazole. Okay, so if we give fomipazole, it's not going to make acetaldehyde. I'll tell you why this fomipazole is very, very important. If you have ethanol toxicity, you want to give them fomipazole from stop making acetaldehyde so fast that gives us those symptoms. For example, people who are painters, okay, they use uh, ethanol, methanol, and ethylene glycol. Okay? All these substances. Um, all these substances can be broken down by alcohol dehydrogenase to acetyl dehydrogenase. And if you're having severe symptoms from too much acetyl dehyde in your system, you can give them fomipazole by inhibiting the process of making acetyl dehyde so fast. Okay? So that is that enzyme. Now there is another drug which can inhibit our uh, acetyl dehyde dehydrogenase. Can you think of the drug? It's actually called it's actually called disulfiram. Okay, disulfiram-like reactions. You obviously heard about that. That inhibits um, that inhibits acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. As a result, this accumulates our acetaldehyde and gives us those bad that bad feeling, which will prevent, hopefully, prevent uh, a, a chronic alcoholic from from stopping uh, them to drink more alcohol. Okay, so ethanol is excreted through zero-order kinetics. Okay, what does that really mean? Zero-order kinetics mean that despite, let's say this is time on the x-axis and this is plasma concentration of ethanol in the blood or in the serum. Okay, zero-order kinetics meaning that um, a certain amount is excreted throughout no matter how much the concentration is in your system. So let's say two milliliter is excreted per hour. That number is going to remain constant. 
no matter whether you have more concentration of the substance or less concentration of the substance, you are going to have that fixed amount that the urine can get rid of. That is zero order kinetics. So zero order kinetics looks like this. It's a straight line because it's, it's, a, it's an exact amount that is that you can get rid of in a certain amount of time and it does not change whether you have greater concentration or lesser concentration so that's why when you have hangover um, you tend to just you just have to wait it out because it's you know no matter what you do you all you can do is hydrate yourself no matter what you do it will be excreted in in its due time right that is zero order zero order kinetics you can read more about zero order kinetics by going to page 260 First date, 2012. I just wanted to throw it out there that alcohol or ethanol is excreted through zero, it's metabolized through zero order kinetics. There is two more substances which is also uh, excreted through zero order kinetics. That is phenytoin and an aspirin. The E is for ethanol. So this is phenytoin and aspirin. Now let's do a question on this particular topic. 